what's going on this is always back with another video of java essential training series so in this video we're going to discuss for loop so what are the for loop basically so for for loop it's one of the looping statement in java programming for loop is used to execute setup statement repeatedly until the condition is true for loop checks the condition and execute the setup statement it is loop control statement in java so what is the syntax for for loop so the for loop contains the following statements such as initialization, condition, and increment and decrement statement. So let me give you an example, okay? So I have explained while loop and do while loop in the previous video. I have the same code here. So I will explain what's the difference between for loop, do while, and while loop, right? So let me start a for loop here. So you start for loop with the word for, and then you add parentheses okay so first is the initialization which is going to be that int x is equal to one that's a variable with the data type of int so in do while loop and while loop you have to declare that outside the loop but in for loop you can declare inside which is called initialization so i'll type int let's say x is equal to zero Okay, so that's the initialization, basically declaring a variable with a data type, and then semicolon. That will separate it from condition now. So the condition we're going to do is x less than, let's say five, okay? And then semicolon, which is going to separate it from increment or decrement, okay? So I'm going to say x plus plus, that's going to be increment operator and then get out from the parentheses. Now enter and add a code block for for loop. That's a curly braces, very simple. And then I'm going to um, print out X values onto the console, right? So here I'm going to say in a, in a double code that's count X value is, okay, equal to, and then use your concatenation operator, which is a plus sign and then just type x okay and now let's run the program all right so as you can see the x value is 0 1 2 3 4 so basically it's the same thing indexing start from 0 to onwards so the first value is going to be 0 1 and let's say I'll type 2 okay and then run so it's going to do two three fives okay so that's how you can define for loop all right so there are three types of for loops a simple for loop what i've just shown you and for each loop or enhanced for loop what i give you an example which is using array and a labeled for loop okay so let's look at the enhanced for loop which is going to be an array so let's go and let me just move it down and I'm going to start with integer array. I'm going to name it array. And then you can do with double uh, square brackets or you can just um, define those square brackets next to the data type. It's the same thing. There's a different ways of um, declaring array. If you wanna know about array, watch my understanding array video. It's equal to, and I'm going to use curly braces, okay? So I'm going to say one, comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 comma 9 and that's it okay end of the curly braces and you use a semicolon okay to finish the array so that's the array now okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to use that array in a for loop so let's get rid of this code here all right and let's get rid of this code Okay, so to access that array in a for loop, I'm going to define our initializer int, let's say numbers, right? And I would say that is equal to zero. I'm going to add semicolon, and then there's a condition, and then I'm going to say numbers less than five, okay? And then semicolon again, and then numbers plus plus that's an increment operator okay so next we're going to add uh, a code block which is already there and then system.printout okay so to print out that 
array in a for loop, what you do is type the array name, sorry, array, and then you add square brackets, and then you type the numbers, which is a for loop initializer that is a number is equal to zero, right? Okay, so let's run the program now. All right, as you can see that we got one, two, three, four, five values because number is less than five. And there you go, we got one, two, three, four, five. Let me change this, okay? Let's say five, let's say six, oops, six, let's say eight. Okay, so now what we'll get, let's run the program. Now on the zero index, we got five, six, three, eight, five, right? So that's how you can uh, access array in for loop. But let me give you another uh, way to access that. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this code here. Okay. And let's get rid of uh, this code here as well. Okay, so you can simply do int, okay, and make a initializer, let's say numbers again, okay, and then colon, and then array name, so which is array, that's fine. And then in the system out of print line statement, all you have to do is type the initializer, okay? So let's print it out. So you've got whole array, it's been printed. So that's how you can use array and access the array in for loop. All right, so there's another loop here, infinite loop. So that's just a, let's say if I type four and then I'll two columns, add a code block, oops, and curly braces, okay, so here, S out, and I will try whatever, all right? So now let's see, it's an infinite loop. So it's gonna keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, so you have to stop it. That's a different way to, that's just an infinite loop. If there's nothing in there, that's going to be infinite loop. So that was a like better way to access the array in for loop. All right, so that was about for loop guys. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. You can follow me on Twitter at oasemus01. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.